Okay, so now let's add some functionality to this form. What I want to be able to do is when I double click on one of these order ID numbers, I want to be able to see the details of that order. So not only can we see all the order IDs for a particular employee when I kind of scroll through this form, I want to be able to double click on an order and see all the details of that order. So we can do that by capturing or trapping the value of this order ID in the subform by referencing the subform. Now there's a lot of questions about how to reference a particular uh, value or item or text box in a subform. And that's really easy to do and the syntax is a little, different, a little bit different and I'll kind of go through that here as we build this example. So let's start a new form here and I'm going to uh, go to the properties and select the record source and the record source is going to be order details and with these order details I'm going to bring down all the fields that I'm going to need and so as you can see I've kind of brought in the order details and I've linked it to the products table so I can get the product information and close this out and with my field list drag in all the uh, fields that I'm going to need here and then start formatting alright formatting is good I'll be sure to make sure that the um, data is enabled no locked yes so nobody can um, have any kind of changes in there and I think we're good to go uh, let's go ahead and save this and I'll save it as order detail form and we're going to make sure that the the view the default view is continuous forms now when you set it to continuous forms it's going to basically give you a form that looks like this it's basically a continuous stream of records in that form Alright, so this works great except for the fact that it's showing us all the order details. We're not going to want to see all the order details in the order details form. We're going to want to basically filter this out by the order ID that we selected in our main form. So when we double click on our main form, we're going to have to open up this form with a filter. And that filter is going to be the order ID from the main form. Now you'll notice on the main form here, the order ID is not actually on the main form. It's actually in a sub in the main form. And the order ID is nothing more than a field from the table that's being referenced by the sub form. What we'll want to do is we'll want to um, design the order detail form again, go to the record source, and select the three dots here to get to the QBE. And what we'll say is the order ID is going to be equal to forms, main form, subform one. form order ID. So what does this mean? This means that I want to look at the subform 1 in the main form and that subform 1 is a form. We've got to identify the subform 1 as a form and then in that, inside that form there's a field called order ID. We want that. So we want the criteria to be the order ID from the subform 1 form in the main form. Alright, the syntax is a little bit funky, but it does a trick here. So let's go ahead and close this out and make sure we save everything. Make sure we save the subform or the uh, or order or detail form. Alright, so now the problem is we have to figure out a way to fire this form because you can't just open the form. If you open it, it's just going to give you a bunch of parameter value questions that you don't want. Uh, what you want to do is you want to basically figure out a way to fire that form once you select the order ID. And that way is to uh, do it off of the subform. So let's go ahead and design this subform. And remember, the subform is nothing more than a data sheet view, so you're not going to see much on it. Uh, but you'll go to Properties, uh, Event, and On Double Click Event. So we're going to do an On Double Click Event. We're going to do a Do Command. Um, open Form, Order Detail Form, AC Normal. So that's all we need. So now what that means is that on this main form, when I design this form here, or when I double click on the sub form, it's going to open up the, uh, the order detail form. Make sure we uh, save the changes that we made to the sub form. Alright, so when we open up this main form, we have a list of all the order IDs done by this employee ID number, and when I, when I double click on a particular order, you'll see that only the orders for this form pops up. Now there's a couple of things that we want to do here. We want to get rid of this empty uh, product and we want to basically make it look a little bit nicer when it does pop up. So we'll just go ahead and go to order detail form, do a couple of property changes here. 
So we'll just make sure that we have the allow addition set to no. We want record selectors, no. Navigation buttons, no. Dividing lines and auto center, no. Uh, that'll give us a nice clean looking form. And then events, we're going to do an on open event. And we're going to make sure that uh, on open event fires a do command restore command that basically allows us to see the uh, form in a kind of a restored view instead of maximized or minimized. So let's go ahead and close this out. We're going to make sure that uh, uh, changes are saved. And I think we're good. Let's close this out and open up our main form. All right, so let's go ahead and select any one of these employees. I'll select Andrew Fuller is fine. And then we'll just go to any one of these order IDs, double click on it, and you'll see that the details for this particular order have come up. And then uh, go to another employee, uh, Janet Leverling, double click on one of these employee order IDs, and then you'll see that, again, the details for that order kind of came up. So as you can see, subforms can be a little bit tricky, but they can be very, very rewarding in that it can let you add some richness to your applications by adding some sort of hierarchical drill-down effects to your form. So you don't have a two-dimensional kind of a form. You have a three- or four-dimensional type of form. You can go as many levels as you want. And with that subform referencing syntax that we showed you, uh, got to be a little bit careful with that. But once you've mastered that, you can pretty much do anything you need here.